Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Gemini. Now, you can have Gemini anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. And Gemini, this message may resonate with you. Or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby, and send the rest to the universe. Let it be for someone else. So, Gemini, as I was meditating in your energy and clearing out these cards, it's almost like you're gaining clarity. Some of you have been praying for clarity in your situation. But I'm hearing you have people obsessed. And it's almost like they're so obsessed and wanting to see you fail or just self-sabotage or, or just fail. They want to see you destroyed. Now, man, who are you dealing with? Gemini. Look at this. There's a group of people that are coming up against you. And for some of you guys, this is you still moving forward. Some of you guys don't even look like what you've been through. But look, all this darkness around here. And you're still standing up. Man or female, terror has no gender. And for some of you guys, look, you have protection that's coming in. It's almost like your, your angels, your ancestors are stepping in. And they're protecting you. Big time. Now, for a lot of you guys, I'm picking up on this energy where you have people from your past. This could be this could be some some co-workers, a friend, somebody that just it's almost like they were jealous of the energy you you portray or that you have within you, your light. For some of you guys, if this was family. God, it's like, man, they were teaming up against you. And it's almost like some of y'all couldn't even believe it could be these people, these family members. If this was a spouse, this was a spouse that was secretly competing against you. They didn't like your your light for, for a minute. Maybe they did. Maybe that attracted, you know, them to you. But the attention that you get, they didn't like that. For some of you guys, you were dealing with the, uh, um, if you were married to this particular person, they might have been even cheating just behind your back and you never really saw that, is what I'm hearing. It's almost like they just wanted your money. This is, look, their eyes are closed and they're just looking and they're saying, well, Jim and I, you know, per, you know, gives me this, you know, provides me with this money. And some of you guys might have married this particular person not knowing, look, they were a devil in disguise. Look at the horns. And they just wanted money. Maybe you were dealing with somebody with Virgo in their chart, Taurus, Capricorn. But this particular person, look, they're feeling the loss of you. And this is justice. And for some of you Geminis, it's almost like you didn't feel justice in your favor. Because I'm hearing your ancestors are saying it's almost like God, the universe, gave them a period of time to right their wrongs. But this particular person, they were too prideful. Look at them. Prideful as fuck. And they could have came with flowers and men or female or to apologize, but no, they'd rather they rather tear this home down. And now they see you building somewhere else in Gemini. Some of you guys ain't even looking back. And I'm hearing that's what hurt the most. It's almost like you've when I heard clarity. In the beginning of the reading, it's almost like you found clarity. You might have called them out on something that they were doing behind your back. And for a lot of you guys, you were dealing with somebody that you started to put. It's almost like you got visions. You started to awaken. You started to get these down, uh, downloads. And then you put the missing pieces together. Now, this person was committing adultery behind your back before you even did because for some of you Gemini's you 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 stepped out but they were they were they were probably stepping out before you and it's like the clarity you're getting and it's almost like your other twin was was trying to slap you back and forth and you didn't want to see some of you guys were in this energy the second story you were in this energy and your twin was telling you look Gemini you know and you weren't wanting to pay attention until you got this heartbroken. Maybe you found him somewhere else. But for a lot of you guys, Gemini's, going back to the original story, 
you moved on. This particular person could have betrayed you in a way that that is unforgivable. And for a lot of you Geminis, you forgave, you let go. But a lot of people wouldn't have forgave for the amount of betrayal this particular person. They might have left you out in the cold. Now they're feeling the cold because they were, whoever they teamed up with was actually an enemy of yours. So they teamed up with your enemies. And how were they going to feel secure? Because for a lot of you guys, you were protecting them, man or female. You were protecting them. You might have told them that guy's no good or that girl's no good. And they didn't want to listen. And the justice, it's almost like the universe says, no, I'm going to take you out of here. And karma's coming for that ass. Now, Gemini, what I'm hearing is this particular person, they want me to show you this, man or female, this particular person could have even did black magic or love spells, una madre de amor, and they wanted you to come back in this, what do they call those sugar jars or something is what I'm hearing, un endulcimiento or something like that, to try to, you know, Just wanted a love spell for you. You were dealing with somebody that wanted manipulating your energy. And they might have been doing this in the past. And you didn't know, man or female. They were taking your underwear to the brujo or the bruja. <laughs> I'm, I'm here for, for my ladies. If you took those tarantaras, you know, those white underwears, the old school underwears for my older ladies. The brujo was like, get that stinky shit out of here. There's no way you can, <laughs> you can do a love spell. We don't have no. <laughs> they couldn't even do a love spell. I don't know, for whatever reason. But this is if one of y'all's people took this. But anyways, let's get out of that energy. For a lot of you guys, you have people confused. And they're wondering, how is it Gemini just keeps getting? It's, it's almost like you always land on your feet. How does Gemini still keep winning? And a lot of people wanted you lost, confused, and just unalive is what I heard. But look at you. You're stronger than ever. And, and Gemini, for a lot of you Geminis is what I'm hearing. It's like the universe told you to stand back, to play this role. And for some of you guys, you just listened to your intuition and you said, you know what? I ain't showing what I have or what I have coming in. And you stand in this energy, protecting yourself. Some people don't know what the fuck you're doing. And the universe is telling you, hey, stay quiet with these options that the universe is bringing to you. For some of you guys, this could be in career, in love. I think you're very picky. You're, you're going to be, you've learned a lot from love when it comes to past love. You know your worth. And a lot of you guys, you just want somebody that's going to equally be yoked as you. In other words, on your level of spirituality, it's like you're looking, you're picking, you're not settling for nobody. And your your twins, are, you guys are lucky. You have two people in there, two inner childs that you could play with. It's like, shh. but even them, they're leveling up. It's like, nah, they're not allowing you to just settle for anybody. So for a lot of you guys, this is you looking forward and you're not looking for, for betraying your own self. This is you betraying your own self. So I see you moving in a different direction, moving a lot different, leaving the the, the betrayals and all that. Because some of you guys, <laughs> it's almost like you knew what you had to do, Gemini, but you didn't do it. And you ended up, you know, falling into the betrayal because a lot of you guys, the universe was telling you, Amunos, let's go, move forward. But you weren't paying attention. You were like, no, no, hold up, I could do this. And what happened? You fell into their trap. The universe has got your back. Look, you're out and moving. And, <laughs> and even though you don't understand, or you don't, it's almost like you don't understand and you're willing to jump into the unknown. It's like, you keep trusting God in this situation and you're being grateful for some of you guys. You're learning. You're learning how to let the universe God surprise you. 
and it could come in this surprise and look everything you've been through da, 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 da. so some of you guys are receiving change and you're being quiet about it look you're holding on to it you're like nope i ain't letting nobody know and people see you and they might think that you're in this energy but in reality you're not you know you got a lot of love and here you are look they see you black and white and they wonder is jim and i still going through that situation but jim and i you're in this energy of trusting god and the universe and you only you only do what you need to do when God, the universe tells you to do it. In other words, you only show up when God illuminates your next step. And even though you have your full armor of God, see, you have your shield. You're not letting anybody hurt you no more. You still have what? The cup of love. But people don't know that that's where you're going. See how it's invisible? This is you just trusted in the universe and your spiritual journey. And look what happens, man. You gain control and you co-create and you put a stop. Some of you guys got burned big time by, by people that you actually love, that you might have had a family with and they might have burned you. And no matter what, look, this is a scar of not allowing any more bullshit. It's like you're about to manifest everything you want and it comes with happiness as soon as you release and let go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a lot of people mad because you refuse to allow them to control you is what I'm hearing. Look, and you're moving. You're leaving. If you got to leave anything behind, if you have a look for some of you guys that are dealing with a parental figure that you, you're already grown, you're, you're going to college, you're moving out, you're wanting to move on. It's almost like they want to control your every move. Oh, you should go to this college or you should get this job. Or if you're, if you guys are in, um, if you guys have divorced parents, it's like they, they want to control your move, whether you see the other parent or not. For my older folks that I have been through a divorce, it's like you made that shit final. And some of you guys were high-fiving <laughs> your twins. Gemini, you, you and your twins were high-fiving, but you were keeping it in this energy. Oh, I'm hurt and everything. And no, the universe was telling you, stay in this energy. And some of you guys stayed in this energy, not to deceive anybody, but to really to stand back. You stayed obedient with, you know, with God and the message he was downloading you. And maybe through this divorce process, it's like the universe says, if they take shit from you, let it go. I got something better because they're being tested as well as you, but they're not realizing that. Mm -hmm. And look, when you let go, you get what you want. Now it's going to come. It's not going to come like this, but you're going to be manifested everything you want. And it's going to bring this 10 of cups. Look, for some of you guys, you have a new love coming and it's going to flow easily. In other words, you're not going to work hard for this situation. It's just going to flow when you meet this particular person. Some of you guys were dealing with somebody that was just a control freak. Narcissistic. They wanted it their way or the highway, man or female. Because some, some of my men, you guys were just too nice. You would look. And this particular person just wanted your check. And for my ladies, you were working your ass off. And this particular person was just taking advantage of you. At the end, both men and women, whoever, however it may resonate with you, you are willing to let go and let God handle this situation. And look, even at night, you had to trust in God, the universe, that he will, he will provide for you. And for a lot of you guys that were dealing with spiritual attacks and this BS with this love magic and all that for for somebody that you might have left, the universe is blocking them. They can't come towards you no more. For some of you guys, you're seeing this because some of you guys almost felt, for some of you guys, I'm here, you guys might have felt back to want it to reconcile, but it's almost like you saw the universe closing this door and you shut it and you move forward and a piece of you wanted to look back, but you stayed obedient. And see, this horse is looking back, wanting to look back. Mm -mm, and you stayed focused. And the universe was testing you. Gemini, the universe was testing you if you were going to fall into this trap. But 
Look, you're the star, baby. Two cards. But you stayed obedient with God, the universe. And look, you made it. Oh my God, you made a patent with God, the universe. This is you embracing your spiritual journey, loving you, who you are, who God created you to be. Letting the past hurt, pain, all that confusion, all that bullshit, letting it go. And for a lot of you guys, you had a lot of jealousy that was coming from your from your inner circle. This was a spouse competing against you or this was your, your siblings. It was a lot of jealousy, Gemini. Because things come to you effortlessly, endlessly. If this was money, look, you could just pray to God, the universe, and it comes to you. And they hate that. They, they don't understand why. It comes to you that easily. And it's crazy because some of them would call you money hungry. This, no, it's just money comes to you easily. And some of you guys shared. And it's almost like they wanted more and more. If you gave them your hand, they wanted your leg. But that's because you have faith in the universe. No matter what happens to you, look. In this partnership and look, wherever the universe sends you. Some of you guys are about to go overseas. The universe is sliding it up for you. And you're patiently wrapping up things, closing cycles. And people know you're about to leave. And it's tugging on their heart. They're like, shit, I might lose Gemini. Because they already betrayed you three times already. And they've got to heal this toxic way of trying to control you. See, look, they're chained up. I don't know, you guys might have been dealing with a Capricorn or somebody with Capricorn in their chart. But this is toxic energy. And it's almost like you're not allowing. It's like you're not forcing anything. If it's resistance, you know it ain't from God. You see? You're just flowing. Naturally. If love is gonna if love is coming towards you, you ain't fighting, you ain't chasing. There's a little bit of a chase, but if they ain't reciprocating that same energy. You look at God and you say, is this for me? And this is you. Look, look into the sky. Look, this is you with the communication. And, and look, this is. For a lot of you, Gemini's, you, you were dealing with people. That God had to separate you from these people that were trying to rob you of your freedom. Now, freedom comes in all kind of. You know, freedom could be financial freedom because some of you guys were dealing with somebody that just wanted to take, take, take and take your money. And it's almost they. Some of you guys, it's just freedom of being who you are. Or some of you guys went into spirituality and they, they didn't want you to have that. They didn't want to follow. They didn't want you to follow your dreams, who you were going to become. And that's I'm hearing was coming out of. Insecurity that they were projecting. But this is how you are, the Ten of Cups behind the scenes. And look, this is you moving forward. And yes, some of you guys are going to pull out your masculinity, you know, your, your energy of, you know what? I'm going to move forward no matter if this negativity comes towards me. And this is not forcing. This is you just moving forward with love. In other words, you ain't going to allow anybody to stop you of what you want when it comes to love. Something that... Your, your heart, your soul desires. That's not forcing. But you're not going to allow negativity to come in and affect what you want. Because some of you guys in the past, you had just people that wanted to block you. They, they wanted to block you. They didn't want you to, to work on your craft and work on yourself. For some of you guys, you... you there's a project that you've been working on and you've been doing this on your own and maybe you've been doing it on the side and you've been gaining the wisdom. Some of you guys are still having to work with uh, this might be your side hustle is what I'm hearing. And the universe is seeing how much time and love you're putting in it. For some of you guys, 
you're gonna take the next step and you're gonna move with this uh, side hustle. And it's gonna bring you into this emperor energy. It's gonna bring you this abundance. But right now the universe is telling you to take it easy. You might feel bounded to, to this past job, but you're seeing what you need to do and you're going in the direction you need to go. And remember, you have good, what you put out to the universe will come back to you. So when you put in, when you put out good things, so if you're leaving this particular job and you're doing it in the correct way, so you, that way you receive good karma. See, a lot of you guys have been studying universal laws and you trusting in God and your spiritual journey he created for you, who puts you into this energy? Look, look at your faith. You move when God, the universe tells you to move. And look, it could be a war out here, on the, but you're steady waiting on the universe. And look. So let's see, what do we have for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. Baby, I, I, Gemini, I put it in the comments because for a lot of you guys, you had a particular person that was trying to stop your freedom. So I see a lot of freedom coming towards you. And I'm hearing financial freedom or freedom, period. And Gemini, I'm hearing if you got to start all over, your ancestors, God, and the angels, that are assigned to you, they're gonna help you build an empire that these people are gonna wish. They're gonna be disgusted, they're gonna be, who they're gonna be hurting because they're gonna be thinking of all the painful memories, all the hurt they did to you. And seeing you move on without them, seeing you succeed without them, it's going to be painful. It's going to be their karma. Look, my life is a mess right now. And look, the way I treated you, the way I have treated you was wrong. So some of, the, some of these people are are receiving their karma. They're feeling the hurt that that they caused you. And they ask themselves, why do I deserve somebody like you? For a lot of you guys, this was your twin flame. This was a soulmate. And yes, you might have hurt them, but they took it to another level is what I heard. And they allowed other people to get into y'all's business. For a lot of you guys, I'm hearing fast three days. Try to fast three days to clear out any kind of energy for anybody that's feeling that spiritual attack. The three-day fast is going to help you. And you're never alone. I'm hearing Psalms 88. You are a chosen one. Read that. Psalms 88. Psalms 88. Okay. God loves you. Put in the comments. God loves me. And some of you guys are going to get... Amazing message from that Psalms 88. That's a lot of cards. But look, it says, I am blocked. So some of you guys have this particular person blocked. I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. So a lot of you guys, you're dealing with somebody that wants to come back. And they can't take it anymore because they see you moving forward. They see you happy. And they know that you're putting up a front. They know Maybe when you see them, you act, oh, I'm okay. But they know you're in this energy. <laughs> and they hate it. And it says right here, I can't let go of you. It says, what do you see? <laughs> Some of you guys, they wonder, what did you see in them? And Jim and I, I'm hearing that you had a lot of love for this particular person. It's almost like... When you saw this particular person, you felt that connection. It's almost like God has sent this particular person, man or female. And you did everything to try to 
make them listen. Hey, this is what we got to do. But you know what? They weren't taking you serious. They thought the grass was greener somewhere else. And they thought they could find somebody better than you. But it's painful memories losing you. Look, painful memories losing you. Sex with you. So some of you guys are dealing with somebody that you put it down on them, man or female. You put it down on this particular person. Maybe, you know, this particular person has insecurities in Gemini. You might be somebody that just gets butt naked and they just were intrigued. And this particular person I'm hearing had insecurities, but you know, it's kind of crazy. They had insecurities, but they had this devilish energy. You might have been dealing with a Capricorn. They wanted the lights off and you're like, no, put them on, turn them on. And, and that's what they missed from you. How you took charge, how you move forward. And you put it down on them. They're memorized. They're hating you. They want this partnership back. But you know what? They did too much. And you're moving forward in a different direction. And guess what? Now they feel betrayed, but they did it to themselves. They betrayed themselves. And now they got us, what? They, the universe has them looking at all their actions, the consequences to their actions. And they get to see you moving forward with these options. And this is your justice. So that's what I got for you, Gemini, sun, moon, rising, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment if this is you, baby, because I feel you blessed. And you're very grateful is what I'm hearing. And guess what? You're never alone. God is with you. The universe is with you. Keep manifesting. Infinite Tarot 888.